All right, so here's a cool way to get iMyPhone for free because they're actually running a really awesome giveaway. So all you have to do is go and check out the link below and then you have to share it with your friends and they will actually send you a free license code. So what you do is, let's say you go on Twitter, you can type in something like iMyPhone any two, change location to anywhere on iPhone or iPad. And after that, simply tweet it and give your email address along with a quick captcha and you'll get a completely free license to this really, really awesome tool. Check that out in the link below. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Today's video is brought to you guys by iMyPhone, and we're taking a look at their brand new NE2 software. Now, this is really interesting software that allows you to basically spoof your location to anywhere on the face of the planet. So your phone might say that you're somewhere, and you might actually be elsewhere, which can get to some sketchy situations. So they actually do have a disclaimer that you need to agree to before you actually go and use this. This software helps you set up fake GPS locations and protects your real GPS location from being found by others. However, this software shall be used only in the aim of protecting your privacy and other legal permitted by uh, legal uses permitted by laws. So let's go ahead and get started and see what this thing is capable of doing. So first of all, we're going to go and plug in our device. All right, so after you connect your device, you have to hit trust on the device itself. And a little pop-up will come up. I'm going to go ahead and tap trust. Alrighty then, so it's going to go ahead and connect, and as you guys can see, it's going to pull up a full-fledged map that's going to allow you to choose exactly the spot that you're at. So this actually really spoofs your entire phone. So if you're on Instagram, it'll actually go and give you filters for, let's say you go ahead and choose Atlanta, Georgia, even though you're actually in Miami, Florida. Well, you'll be able to go and have your filters show up as if you're in Atlanta. The same goes for Find My iPhone. So let's say you want to not tell anyone that you're headed to a vacation in Vegas. Well, you can go and use this to spoof the Find My iPhone application as well. Now, where it gets really interesting is that you can plan a full-on route and you can have yourself move at a certain speed between that route so it looks like you are going somewhere live. How insane is that? So if you're really trying to like to keep, you know, prevent a trace, this is probably the best way to do it. You can also go ahead and mess around with custom routes here. So as you can see, you can add multiple destinations to this. So let's say we start in like Atlanta and then we go to Tennessee and then we go to Missouri and then we go to Oklahoma. Well, it will go and automatically start moving your iPhone location as if this is what you're doing. Now, it makes life really easy for privacy concerns, but it also makes life really easy if you need to lie to someone. So the last thing you can do is just choose a particular location and you can set it to go from that area to there. It'll give you the distance and you can start it moving right on the spot. Teleporting may incur warnings in other location based apps. You are suggested to close those apps before switching the location and then you can hit no reminders in the next seven days and it will start moving. Last but not least, it also shows history. So if you actually went and use this software to, you know, change your location from New York to Tampa and then Tampa to San Antonio, and you want to remember all the places that, that this thing supposedly has been, well, it will keep track of all those as well. So jumping back to our first option, let's just do a simple one. Let's start in, let's see where we can start. Let's go ahead and click on Phoenix, Arizona. And so now it's going to go from 1860 Tremont Ave in the Bronx all the way to Phoenix, Arizona. Next off, I'm going to set the time. I'm actually going to hit 10 moves. So it's going to do 10 different moves to get to Phoenix, Arizona. And last but not least, I'm going to choose the speed at which I'm going. So if you tell someone that you're walking between Phoenix and the Bronx, it doesn't seem very reasonable. So you want to probably up the speed on that one. And you can also do a speed of a bike and you can do the speed of a car, which is pretty cool. Now, plane doesn't usually track location anyway. So if you're on a plane, you know, it doesn't really make sense to be going faster than 10 meters per second. Last but not least, it gives you the distance down here, which is really cool as well. But I think my favorite one is the ability to add multiple destinations. This is going to be really useful. You know, I'm looking at the whole map of the United States, but let's say you live only in San Diego and you really want to tell someone that you are doing a certain amount of things in at, at your, you know, at work and then you're doing some errands or something of those sorts. And you're, I don't know, your friend is really sketched out because you might not be doing those certain things. Well, you might simply go and hit your starting location. And then you're going to hit another location. Let's say you're doing errands on Alley Street. 
and you're going to go and set the speed because you told your friend you'll be on a bike to a certain location and you're going to set up the exact amount of moves. It'll give you the exact distance and you can start that right on the spot. And the cool thing is you don't have to leave your room. This thing will happen all in the background and your phone could just be sitting there making it look like you're going to all those places. But in reality, you're just sitting in your room doing absolutely nothing. So all in all, guys, go ahead and check out this really interesting software. This is one of a kind. I've never seen this before in the link below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.